Good day, first world travellers, and welcome back. This is my second video from Takayama in central Japan. Two things. I haven't had breakfast today, and I've got on my stretchy pants. This could only mean one thing, that first world traveller is about to do a food video. OMG to the max. So Takayama, very similar to Kobe, is famous for a unique style of beef called Hida beef, which has that very distinctive marble texture and amazing taste. Now, I've been in Takayama for a few days now and I've noticed that there are literally 101 different ways that you can eat Hida beef. So in this video, I'm simply gonna show you a selection of those. Now, I know what you're thinking. David doesn't like food. First World Traveller is the most fussiest eater on the planet. Yes, that is true. However, if there is one food I could eat until the cows come home, it's beef. See what I did there? No? Never mind, come with me. Right, my first stop is Takayama Old Town. This was in my previous video where I showed you the queue for Hida Beef Sushi. That's what I'm gonna try first. I'm gonna get in the queue and I'll tell you a bit about it when I get the food. My wonderful Hida beef here, a little close up. So just in terms of how it's cooked, so you might think it's sushi, it's raw, it's not raw. So basically it's seared for a short time with a blowtorch, amazing. And there's a number of different options, which I'm showing you here. This is the more expensive one. So it ranges anywhere from 600 yen to 900 yen. This is the most expensive one. It's sirloin Hida beef with horseradish. Beautiful, I think it's time to eat it. So this looks stupendous and it smells gorgeous. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. There's a drop load of sushi on my lap. That is stunning. People smiling at me. Yes, I'm eating. So while I'm walking to the next place, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of Hida beef. So very similar to Kobe beef, there's a lot of stories and legends about how it was created. So, the one I've heard is that many years ago there was one bull that was genetically pure in the Hida region and he was responsible for 39,000 cows, basically. And going forward, those cows were not bred with other cows, so the beef remains pure. All I want to know is how good it tastes. Let's go. This sign gives you an idea of the popularity of Hida beef, not only for tourists, but also for locals. So, ramen, sushi, over there. I think that is a don, is it? Where there's rice underneath and then the meat on top, I think. And there's another queue down there. Madness, but it really is worth it. Absolutely lash. already but then I got interrupted by some idiot asking me if I was a YouTuber Christ's sake it is beautiful I must admit it doesn't look all that much to look at and it's not particularly rare either it's like medium but the flavor is literally amazeballs because in on the heat of beef the, the marbling texture I said about is the fat basically and you might think that it's going to be really fatty and all that but it's really not the fat gives it a gorgeous taste i'm excited look i'm going to finish this and go on to something else good job i've got my stretchy pants on mm. it's so good i want to eat the stick it's so good yeah i must say this is better than kobe beef Yes, I'm saying it. All you foodie snobs out there. This is better than Kobe beef. So on to place number three. This place behind me is just down the road from the last place, Sushi Dining Knob. And it does Takayama burgers, maybe the 100% pure heat of beef. Stunning, let's go and see what it's like.
So you can either go in the restaurant or you can go to this window up here for takeaway. I think I'll do takeaway. So I'm just waiting for it to cook. Um, take a look at the menu here, which is there. You can get a drink set menu. So I'm getting the set menu with a drink, orange juice, uh, for 990 yen. Um, just look around. So up there, you've got pictures of Hida beef. It is gen def definitely a massive thing in Takayama. And like I said before, it's not just for tourists. Like the people behind me, you have locals. Um, having a heat of beef, it's stunning. And these burgers are quite small as well, which is good if you're having a heat of beef crawl, like I'm doing. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. Hi. So this beast is the heat of beef burger. Uh, you notice I don't have any lettuce or tomato, that's because I don't like vegetables of any kind. It comes with like an apple and onion sauce and ketchup. So you might be thinking, it's just a burger for Christ's sake, but it doesn't taste like your normal burger. It's got a, I'll get a sauce everywhere. It's got a very different taste. Oh my God. Mm. And I've got this medium, by the way. The sauce is very nice, very appley. It is beautiful, lovely. So I'm getting to the point of explosion now, but I think I'm going to try one more thing, maybe two. So this restaurant behind me called Tanaga Ashinaga highlights the amount of possible meals you can get with Hida beef. Now one thing I just want to point out is down there, it's called Siabu Siabu. I'm probably not saying that right, but basically in Japan throughout, one of the traditional ways of serving Kobe beef or Hida beef in restaurants is with basically a big pot of boiling water and you yourself cook it to your liking so medium rare rare etc that is very expensive it's probably the most expensive option so it ranges anywhere between 8,000 yen to 12,000 yen potentially more than that unfortunately that's out of my price range I'm gonna have one more thing okay I'm gonna explode very soon I don't normally eat this much I don't know how you foodies do it so my final dish I'm gonna go a bit Japanese I'm gonna have some Hida beef noodles that one I think I'll go for the medium because you don't want to see my gut right now because it's going to explode any second. Okay, I'm done with the noodles. They were stupendous. Oh shit, I'm gonna get run over. So apologies, I couldn't really film in there very well because I must say, being a foodie YouTuber by yourself is impossible. So those noodles, okay, they were absolutely lush. So I must admit the beef wasn't that special. It could have been a bit more rarer, but the noodles, there was like literally 10 pot noodles worth in there and the broth, slightly oily, but that was good. And it had spring onions in it, which I absolutely love. And I think it had garlic as well. So all in all, that was stunning, beautiful. I am literally going to explode now like that girl in Willy Wonka when she ate the blueberry or whatever it is, Violet Beauregard, that's her name. And I think I'm going to climb Mount Everest now to work all the fatness off. Anywho, if you've enjoyed seeing some heater beef, in Takayama, then make sure you do the like. Have you tried Hida beef? Do you think it's better than Kobe beef or are they basically the same? And am I talking rubbish by saying this beef is amazing? Leave your opinions down below. On that note, I'll catch you later. I don't like the look of it. Oompa, loompa, doompa dee da. If you're not greedy, you will go far. You will live in happiness too.